hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so thankful for you all for joining me again so in today's video we are going to learn about how to make a flower design beaded bag of pears or it's a vintage beaded bag that we are going to learn how to make today i am so thankful for you guys for support and the love you're showing me so these are the size of the bead we are going to use the 8 mm orange bead i have here 10 mm bead in gray color that's what i have this is how the orange one is looking like very pretty orange bead very beautiful and bright and here i'm going to use my 50 pound beading line okay or fishing line and apply just to cut loose thread so let's get started here is my thread i cut like 20 inches long and we are going to start with six bead six three orange and three gray okay i'm going to string this on the line i put one i drop one orange now i'm going to put gray two gray on each line i'm going to add orange again like this okay you have to take the bead correctly and i'm going to let's let me show you how it's arranged okay yellow gray yellow gray and yellow this is how you have to arrange it on the line and we are going to cross into this one so cross into this bead and pull like this and you have something like this you have the you have to pick the bead correctly now we are going to continue so this line i'm going to add four bead so i pick two gray and in between i put the orange bead and this one orange okay now i'm going to cross into the gray one and pull so the one we did right now we added all four bead to this line okay now we are going to change this line all four bead are going to put on this one i'm going to add all four bead on this line like this so i have four bead to my right and one on the left so now i'm going to cross into my gray bead cross and pull that is how we are going to be changing line with our bead so now that you saw me on the right hand left hand i'm going to change my hand again and put all four bead so this line all four bead are going to go on it like this i put all four bead one orange gray orange gray and one orange over here one orange okay like this cross and pull now this line all four bead are going to add to it you see how i'm changing the line with the bead all four bead are on this and i put one orange on this one and now i'm going to cross my line into the gray bead and pull again i'm going to change again i'm going to change all four bead so you can see how the pattern is going i'm changing it if you don't if you didn't do it this way you are not going to have a bag you can get the design that we'll be making and this is how it is i'm going to add all four on this one and one orange bead on this line and i'm going to cross this is how it is this is how it's looking like okay and i'm going to cross into my gray bead and pull take your time this is how it's looking like so let's repeat this one more time see how i pick the bead i put all four on this one and one orange this four and i'm going to cross into the gray bead like this and this is how our weave is looking like this is one two one two three four five six seven eight you know we make eight rings okay so we are going to continue to make 16 we continue to make 16 rings or you count it this way two 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 until you get eight 
then we make 16 of this so here is my I make my 16 and this is how it's looking like okay when you count is 16 over here 16 rings in all now that we make our 16 let's continue so here this is where my line is we are going to turn over here go around this shape okay I'm, this is how it's looking like and here is my line my line is in this gray bead over here this one so we are going to continue this line four beads two gray and two orange and I add one orange to this one so I'm going to cross again into my gray and pull like this now I pick up a bead again the same way the same number of bead cross into gray and pull I'm going to pick up the same again this line four bead and one added to this one I'm going to cross into my gray bead and pull so when you see this ring let me show you this this line one bead I'm going to add one onto my line add one to the line and I'm going to go through this gray bead over here this one pull through this line one bead and one gray and one orange now cross into the gray bead and pull so when you see the ring over here this is how it's looking like and this ring takes six bead it takes six oranges so this line four bead and I add one on the other one cross into the gray and pull and now we have five again in this ring so on this line I'm going to add one bead I'm putting one bead on my line and I'm going to go through the gray bead this one so I can have six bead in my ring I add again one bead and two one orange and one gray like this I cross into the gray and pull now this line four bead and the other line I put one bead on it this one one bead I'm taking my time so you, you don't get confused that's why I'm slow I'm explaining everything to you guys and now I have five sets of bead in the ring again on this line I add one bead I'm going to cross into the gray and pull now I have six in my ring now we are going to close this flower with one orange one gray and one orange let's continue this line I'm adding four B and one to the other line like this now cross and pull now I'm adding one bead to my line I'm going to go through the gray like this go through it and pull now I have six in my ring now I'm closing this flower with one two B and one I'm crossing to my gray and pull like this this is how the weave is looking like very pretty very beautiful we are going to continue to the end the same technique we are using this is how it's looking like so continue and now continue mine too and now I'm at the end I'm closing my last flower with two bead and one bead on this line so over here the first set I'm going to tie over here before we continue so I'm tying my line in between these two bead over here make sure it's well secured so I'm tying here nice and neat like this so I'm holding the other line this line I'm going to go through the gray bead over here to position my line so we can continue like this pull one line through the bead and this is how the flower is looking like very beautiful you see these two sides these two beads the two we take note of the two 
the corners one two three four these four corners over here you take note of it okay this place is the first one we are going to go around and come to this one that's what I'm going to show you so I think my bead again 4b and one on the other line I'm crossing to my gray and pull now we are going to make the flower again I pick another four bead on the line and one on this one I cross into my gray and pull you can use your own choice of colors to make this bag very pretty now I pick four again like this so now I have five in my ring over here again I have five if you count this is five it has to be six I'm adding one to my line one bit to my line and I'm going to go through this bit so this two is where we are going to take five okay the corner that is the first corner we are going to go to and it's going to take five bead so now I'm going to close my flower over here four bead and one bead on the other line like this now we are getting to the the corner this is the first corner I pick four bead again and one bead on the other line So here is our first corner that we are going to put five bead. These are all this all takes six sixes, but this one is going to take five, not six. Okay, so I'm adding one bead to my line and I'm going to go through the gray bead again and pull like this. As you can count, it's five in the ring over here. This is five in the ring. So let's continue. I'm crossing this flower with two bead and one on each side, this side. My line is short over here, so I'm just going to tie. And I'm going to weave the rest of the line a little bit further into the bead before I trim it off. That way I know it's well secure. So this is where our line stops, okay? I have a new fresh line. I cut. I'm going to pull it through the same bead that our last line end, okay? So that's the gray bead. I cross into the gray bead and now I pick my bead again. The same number of bead we are going to pick and repeat the process throughout the entire weed. So one bead, I'm going to cross into this one and pull like this. Now I pick, repeat the same thing, four bead and one on the other line cross and pull now I have five in the ring what I have to do this is five when you count I'm going to add one bit to my line go through the gray and pull so I can have my six B in the ring so now what I'm going to do I'm going to close my flower with two B and one on the other line I cross into my gray and pull We are going to continue the same weave and come to the corner, the second corner again. So I'm going to weave and come here. So we put five on this corner. I'm going to show you how we are going to do it. And now I'm already there. I weave. This is how it's looking like. Okay, let's continue. So here, this is where we are going to put five. So I, I'm closing this flower with two beads and one bead on the other line like this now this is the second corner i pick my four again and one on the other line i'm going to cross into my gray and pull so now we have four in the ring if you count it's four this is four right here but we want five in the corner so i'm going to add one b onto my line add one bead onto the line and this is the bead I add to my line. I'm going to go through the gray bead over here. Okay, where the count is five, not six. 
this is 6 and this is 5. So we are going to continue round and here is another corner we are going to put 5. So I'm going to close this flower again with 2 beads and 1 on the other line. Cross and pull. 4 bead, 1 bead. I'm going to cross into the gray and pull. I'm going to pick up 4 again on this line and 1 on here. Cross and pull. This one, I'm going to go through the gray bead. complete my flower. So let's continue. Over here we are going to put five. So I add four and one on each line. Cross into the gray and pull. So now we have four in our ring. When you count this is four in the ring we are going to put five. So I add one onto my line adding one bead to my line and I'm going to go through this is the bead I add on my line I'm going to go through the gray bead over here and pull so we can have five in the ring okay let me show it to you this is how it's looking like this is five five and the five we put first this is three so this is the five 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 we, we made three and now we are going to weave along and come to the last corner over here this is the last corner so this last corner is going to take five feet so weave and complete that space okay this is how it's looking like and now we do my off camera you're going to come here and put five remember that don't forget to put five over here and this is how it's looking like if you complete yours this is what you have this is what you have if you complete yours. Five, five in the corner is important. Okay, five, five. So we have all four corners with five feet. It takes five feet. And now what we are going to do now, we are going to go round one time. We are going to weave round the same way we are weaving. We are going to weave one time. Let me start for you to see. So I pick four bead on each line and one as usual, the same technique. Again, four bead and one bead on this line. The same technique we are using, that's what we are going to repeat throughout the entire weave. And now I put one, I'm going to go through my gray bead over here so I can have my six bead in my ring. And now I'm completing the flower with two bead and one orange cross and pull again we are going to repeat the same way round the shape if you complete this is what you have okay this is what you have you go round one time and this is what you have if you complete that this is the shape we are aiming at very very beautiful flower very beautiful shape this is what we are going to do. So here in the four corners, one, two, over here, three and four, the corners over here is going to take another five. So remember that and take note. I'm going to go through, I have my line here cut. I'm going to go through this bead over here. So this is the first corner we are going to go through. I'm pulling my line through the gray bead and I add four and one on my line. The same technique we are using the same weave okay this is six flower weave we are using so this corner is four over here I'm going to add one bead on my line then I'm going to this is the bead I'm going to go through the gray bead go through and pull and now we have five in the first corner over here you see five five feet that is what we are going to repeat for the corners one one here one here we are going to repeat the same thing for the four corners like how we did previously that's what we are going to do so we are going to continue to weave until we come to the next corner so here I'm just going to continue to weave until I come to the second corner I'm 
going to go through put my line through this gray bead and pull then I'll continue by waving so continue until the corner take note of the corners so here I'm coming to the second corner over here completing this flower again over here and now I'm in the second corner so with this line this line I'm adding one bead to my line then I'm going to go through this one the gray bead so I can have five beads in the ring this is four we have and this is the one I add to my line I go to the gray and now we have five in the ring this is how it looks like five again it takes five and now let's continue I'm completing this flower with two on each line and one on the other line this is how it's looking like this is the first corner so let's go ahead and complete the rest of it and he this is how it's looking like if you go around and complete two five at the corners this is what you have very beautiful very elegant and very pretty flowers look at how it's looking like very very beautiful so you go round again this time we are just going to weave on it round until we get the length that we want so we are going to continue to weave round on this shape you see the five corners five five and here five and five that is how it's going to if you don't put five you're not going to get this shape you see where all the fives are you must remember to put the five at the corners so you can have this shape and now we are just going to go around on it with the same way the same technique that we are using we are just going to weave until we have the design length that we want for the bag so I go through this gray bead and I'm just going to continue my weaving so you to continue to use it, to weave yours and I'll meet you right back here. I'll weave to a certain point and I'm going to weave off camera. This line I'm going to go through the gray bead over here. So I can have six in my ring. And I'm going, I'm going to continue add four beads on my line and one on the other line cross and pull I'm just going to weave round 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 I'm going to weave two rows on this to see how it looks like if that is the shape and the length that I want I'm going to add one bead to my line this line I'm adding one bead then I'm going to go through the gray bead this one and pull you can use your own choice of colors to make this bag to look pretty for you two bead to complete this flower very very beautiful and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I'm going to continue around and make two rows to see how how it's going to look like I'm going to make it tall continue and make yours and I'll meet you right back here very very beautiful bag this is how the design is okay now I make two rows and this is how it's looking like I think it's in the short side but if you like it like this too it's fine you can put handle on it and you make it a bag for yourself but I want to make it a little bit longer okay I want to whip two more on it this is too short but if you like it like this I want to make it too long at least to this level okay I'm going to weave on it to that level it de de your desire length it depends on you what you like to see okay what you like to have as a bag so this is the inside and this is how it's looking like it's like a medium size of bag medium to a large this is pretty big I'm just going to continue to make two rows on it to see how it looks like okay so I'm just going to continue to weave with the same technique that we are using. So I'm adding one bead to this line and I'm going to go through my gray bead over here. I'm completing this flower with two beads and one on the other line. So I have another four bead and one on this line. I'm going to cross into the gray and pull cross into this one and pull 
I add one bead to my line like this. I'm going to go through the gray bead to have my six bead in the ring. And I'll continue my weaving now. I'm closing this flower with two and one bead. So I want you to continue with yours. Weave yours this, the length that you want. And I'll meet you right back here. I'm going to add two more rows to it. This one. I'm adding bead to my line. And I'm going to go through. This is the bead I add to my line. Go through the gray bead over here. And pull. This is how it's going to continue round two times. I'm going to weave two times on it. I'm going to continue. So you to continue to make yours. And I'll meet you right back here. I'm going to weave my off camera. And this is how it's looking like. I weave two more rolls on it. I think this length is good. This is the inside. Very beautiful, very pretty. This is the inside. And this is how the bag is looking like. The flower bag. The beaded flower bag. This is how it's looking like. Or oh, it's vintage. Vintage bag too. Very, very beautiful. So we have our handle here. I show I have a video on this how to make the handle so you can check the video out it's in my one of my videos so please look for it and then know how to make it and now we are going to go through this bead over here on the handle I'm pulling my line through this bead and on each line of the line I'm going to add one one bead so I add one one bead on each line like this I add one bead I'm going to go through all these three beads over here I'm pulling my line through all these three beads so now that I have both ends of my lines together I'm going to tie over here tie and tie nice and neat pull it tight and tie it again This is how it's looking like. I'm going to hold my line and go through all this bead in the ring. All this bead, I'm going to go pull my line through one more time to reinforce it, to make it strong. Okay. So over here, I'm just pulling up my line through all these six bead over here. That's what I'm doing. I'm pulling all my line through it. the bead I'm going to weave the rest of my line back into the bead make sure it's well secured enough before I trim the rest off so here I'm just weaving the rest of my line into the bead and this one too I'm going to weave into the handle now let's do the second part too here I'm going to put my line through this bead cutting my line this is my line that I have I'm going to go through this bead pull my line through this bead right here I'm going to add one one bead on my line like this then I'm going to go through all these three beads on the bag now that I have my lines together I'm going to tie tie and tie nice and neat and tie in between the bead and not on the bead okay not on the bead so tie and tie nice and neat now we are going to go round again through the bead to reinforce that and make sure it's well secured now i'm weaving my line round back into the bead again like how we did for the first one then after this i'm just going to weave it back into the bead further into the bead before the bead before I trim it off. So the rest of this line, I'm just going to weave it, go around and weave the rest back into the bead. And this is how it's looking like. So we have to do the same for the. This is how the bag is looking like. This is how it's looking like. Very pretty already, very beautiful. And here is the second side. We are going to put the handle on it too how we did for the first one we are going to repeat that for the second one very beautiful 
you can make it for yourself, make it for your friends, and make it for your loved ones. And here, the second handle is added to it. It's pretty already. Look at how beautiful it's looking. Now we are going to make flap on it. So we are going to use these three beads over here in the middle to make our flap. I have my line over here and I'm going to pull through this first bead. Let me turn it this way. I'm going to go through. We are going to use this three bead. Okay, these three in the middle. First, second, third. I'm going to pull my line through this one like this this bead okay now i'm adding three bead to my line three bead cross and pull like this now on each line add one one bead on each line and cross this is the third one i'm going to cross both ends of my line into this one and pull like this cross into it and pull down now this line okay this is how the weave is looking like this line I'm going to go to the second bead I'm going to pull my line through this bead on the back like this So this line, I'm going to add one bead to it. Then I'm going to pick another bead, cross both ends of my line into it and pull. Like this, pull down. Now on each line, each line again, I add one one bead on it. Okay, each line. I add one one bead on each line. Then I'm crossing both ends of my line into this one and pull. Like this. Now this line into the third bead, this one. I'm crossing into this bead, like this. Now this line, I add two beads to it. Add two beads to that line. The same line you put through the bead, add two beads to it cross with the other line and pull so we can have our line on top and continue our weaving this line three bead I'm going to go through this bead and now we adding Two bead to my line. Two bead. Cross and pull. I'm going to go through the next bead again into the next bead. Adding two bead to my line. Cross and pull. I'm going to go through the next bead again. This one. Cross into it. This line. Two bead. Go into the next bead again. This one. Go into the last one right here. And the same line I pull through the bead, I'm going to add two bead to it. Two bead. That way my line can turn to the side so we can continue the third, the third row. So now this is how the weave is looking like. We make two rows already. This is how it's looking like. Very, very beautiful. This line, three bead. I add three bead to my line. I cross and pull. And now I'm going to pull my line through this bead, the next bead. Go through the next bead, two bead. Cross and pull. Into the next bead. Into this bead. I add two bead to my line. I cross and pull. I'm going to go to the next next bead this one I add two bead to my line then I cross and pull now I'm going to go through the last bead over here and the same line I'm going to add two bead to it to complete this row 
so that way my line can turn and I will continue with my rows this is how it's looking like I'm going to continue to weave until we make seven rows this is how it's looking like we are going to make it long on the back and this is how it's looking like if you complete yours this is how it's looking like very very beautiful this is how you close it on it like this you just flap it on it very beautiful our bag is done if you have chain shoulder bag lovers if you have chain you can hook it on the side this is optional this is totally optional you don't have to go and buy chain you have your bag already so hook it on the side if you want to hook it on your shoulder if you want to wear it on your shoulder or crossbody bag you can hook it on the side and make it shoulder bag for yourself and this is how our beaded bag is done our flower beaded bag is done or vintage bag thank you for your time i thank you for your support and the love that you are showing me please continue to subscribe and continue to share my videos with friends and family that might find this video helpful thank you i'm so grateful and i appreciate you all so this is the measurement of the bag this is like 11 and a half by 11 inches long please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notifications for any new video that i'll be uploading so you don't miss on any new video i post i'll see you in my next one bye